Peace, love, light, wisdom, guidance, blessings, and discernment. Beautiful souls of this world. Okay, you don't know we are not of this world. Um, I hope you guys have been having a blessed day. But I wanted to share something with you guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Every time I come out here and I just like hearken unto the, the word and the voice of God. For example, I normally just walk my boys, right? My dog's out here. And today we were walking. Honestly, I was like ready to help again to walk over with so I can go back home and start, you know, dealing with the stuff I have to deal with. And I just felt this wind, right? And I don't know, some the Holy Spirit just told me to stop. And the wind was just hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. And then I heard Holy Spirit say, Go, go to our place, right? Our place. He said, go to our place. And so I come here. And I just want to share with you guys that... I mean, I kind of had a sense of this already. But God just keeps showing me deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. There's a reason why it's required to have a phase of or season let me say season of being isolated and i know some people will hear that and say oh god would never want you in isolation listen it's required beloved it's required now i'm not saying that god wants his children isolated forever no we already know that god said that it is not good for men to be alone and the reason why he you know created multiple human beings is because he wants he wants a family he wants children and he wants us to love each other just like he loves us amen so i'm not saying isolation is forever and god wants you to be isolated forever no but i i'm speaking from experience and the revelation that god has shown me through the experience he's allowed me to go through and honestly kind of still going through um one thing I learned is that you cannot put a time on your isolation. That is not for you to know or to try to figure out. That's simply for God to know and allow it to flow and come to pass, right? But I see a reason. He gave me a revelation of a reason why it's required. It's mandatory. And that reason is simply because if God doesn't isolate you, and when he isolates you, of course, you're still living in the world. You still got to go pay bills. You still have to, you know, it's not like he puts you in a box and you're in that box forever. No, right? And isolation can look different for different people. Amen. Um, for example, there was a, 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 a different season that he had me in a three-day isolation period. And that was when I got locked up. I went to jail. And I know a lot of y'all like, coolie, you go to jail? Nah. <laughs> and a lot of y'all probably uh, judging me as soon as you hear that. Like, oh, yeah, she seemed like the type where, oh, yeah, she probably did something crazy. If you want that story, I don't mind sharing that testimony. Okay, drop in the comments if you prefer to hear that testimony. I do not mind sharing. But that was a different season in my life. And it was only a three-day period of isolation. Right, so I'm just using that example. Everybody's isolation is going to look different. Now, after that, I've had other seasons. That was years ago. After that, I have other seasons where God required isolation again. The things that God does and allows in your life, in our lives, primarily, overall, in a nutshell, is due to your level of faith. It's due to your level of belief. It's due to your level of deeds. It's due to your level. Like it's due to your level of walk with Christ. Does that make sense? Like God is not going to require something of me. That I'm not even um, in a position to give that much. When it comes to my faith. If I'm not believing. If I'm not believing on a, a certain level. He's not going to require from me on a certain level. I pray that makes sense and I know it will to someone. Okay? So, God has us in seasons of isolation sometimes because if He doesn't isolate us, if He doesn't, you know, get us to Himself where it's just us and Him, no advice 
or no um nothing coming from men strictly from him this is what isolation is about you're not seeking or getting from mankind god will literally have it in your life where the people who you think is there for you or the people who you know love you he will literally have it to where those people are out of reach i'm telling you by experience he will literally have where the people that you could normally would normally call upon and would normally have your back and would normally be there for you every single time you call he would literally make it to where they're out of reach and he would be the only one that's within reach and trust me it's not gonna be well how i know trust me god is gonna let you know he's the only one in reach when you're in your isolation <laughs> right because a lot of people go into isolation they rebel right because they're not used to it or they don't like it or they just don't want to you know they they're so used to being amongst people and have to have people around them all these things so it's required what he showed me because if he doesn't get us to himself to hear his voice and his voice alone to see him in a different way right to see more of his character right to prune us mm my god to 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 shed off dead skin dead weight dead burdens and all these things if god doesn't allow that to take place when it's when 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 it's time for us to go in the world for example like say 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 we decide to leave our isolation prematurely after god told us we actually know he told us and we accepted the isolation and whatever say one day we're just like you know what i'm just gonna do this i'm just gonna x y and z because x y and z right if you leave or whatever your isolation prematurely and you go back out into that world you are not going to be able to sustain yourself, stand firm in your faith, stand firm in the things of God and the things that you know God is either displeased with or that he approves. You won't be able to stand firm in your ground. You will not be able to stand firm in your ground because let me tell you how the world, and I don't care if you are seasoned walk walk um season walk word i don't care if you're a seasoned believer i don't care if you're uh you've been walking with christ for 70 something years the world out here is nothing to romp with the world out here is nothing to play around with the enemy the age don't stop him okay it don't matter why because we're all in this flesh we all can and will fall short so it don't matter how long you've been in the save salvation game it don't matter okay this world out here has no respect for nobody it's very powerful we 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 i mean we gotta the thing about it is we need to know our adversary we need to know our adversary yes god is great sir we know that but the devil is also very powerful very powerful and if you think you can do certain things you know because you've grown in christ and you know and then you and then we, we we say oh i've you know i've been doing this for a while i've grown in christ so yeah i could i could i could go there i could do this there's a reason why god say certain things and put certain um laws into place because we be thinking we can do this and do that and x y and z and we try to do it without god and we fumble and then after we fumble we're like oh god i'm sorry why did i go there why did i say this why did i do if you do not remain in your isolation and let God finish what he has started, let him complete what he was just and faithful enough to start, he will be just and faithful enough to complete it. And if you do not remain so that he do that, you will not be able to sustain yourself in the world. The world going to be the world. I'm telling you, the world ain't going nowhere. The world is going to be the world. And we all want to change the world. The world that we all need to change. And I had to learn this. You know, we all say, you know, we teach our kids, you know, grow up and change the world. You can change the world. You can change the world. The world that we need to change is this world on the inside of us. This is the world that we can, literally can change this world. And when this world is changed, it will gush out of you. You won't have to do much. It will just, you will just be embodying it and 
it would change a soul just by looking at you just by hearing seeing how you move hearing how you speak looking how you walk look how your heart is towards other people souls can be changed because of that this is the world that you're supposed to change this world out here ain't changing i'm telling you it not change so isolation is important um beloved isolation is very very important hi <laughs> Isolation is very important. So take heed. If God is having you in a period of isolation, don't be upset. Don't, um, you know, just be still. It's okay. It's okay. And I'm telling you, once you allow yourself to actually go through it, like right now, I don't have friends. Like my sisters are my friends. Like they're my accountability partners. My grandfather, he's my accountability partner and my friend. I don't have friends. And I know and I accept them as my friend and accountability partners. Be in the flesh now because Jesus is my, like, I could go to God because we've grown so much in this isolation. Like I can go to God and literally that's my friend. Like I go on dates with God, you know. People will see me crazy. I don't care. I go on dates with God. That's my friend. But in the flesh, my sisters, my grandfather is my friend. They are my accountabilities. And I have accepted them as such because they are two believers. They are two walking with Christ. They are two, you know, being a hearer and a doer of the word. So about accountability and i'll make a whole another video of that but with accountability you don't just want to have any old person keeping you accountable and you know you accepting their accountability people would project their things onto you intentionally and unintentionally if somebody don't like doing a certain thing they will project that onto you and you, you just got to be careful with that amen but i don't have friends and 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 the last time i had a friend was probably two almost three years ago maybe two almost three years ago and Ever since then, God has had me in isolation, in the isolation period where I'm not hanging out with nobody. I'm not, I'm literally, if I hang out, hanging out is what I'll come to this lake. And where, who am I with? My friend, God, right? Or if God, like, yeah, let's go on a date, he take me, maybe we go to a restaurant or something. It's just me and God, like, literally, literally, y'all. And I know for sure that there's a time coming where god will grant me a tribe of godly believers and and people i can call my friends and people i can you know hold accountable as well as they hold me accountable and we can grow together in christ and we can be ministry together and all these things i know that time is coming god revealed it to me already but i'm not rushing to that i actually love this season okay god probably gonna have to do some things to get me up out of this season because i enjoyed this so once you allow it to happen and take place and remain there, you will start to enjoy it. And then you would low key start to, you would look at the world differently. You would look at um, people differently. Like you will, you will love people so much more, but you will be okay with departing from the world and departing from certain people. Like you'll be okay with it. You don't, you won't have to be, you know, in the middle of the crowd and you won't have to go you don't have to feel like you want to go this place and that place and that place like it's it's beautiful but it's a it's a lesson it's a journey and you just have to accept it you just have to accept it but i'm so sorry this this video is already about 15 minutes i didn't mean for it to be that long but overall i just want to let you know that there's reasons why god requires isolation and don't think that isolation is forever because it's not is not forever but it's for a certain period of time now depending on how you allow your isolation to go if you are rebelling against that isolation period yeah it could last longer than you let on because god needs you to comprehend and get what you need to get before he releases you from that season so if you're not putting yourself in a in a place to you know what i'm gonna do what god is telling me to do i'm gonna go where he's leading me to go i'm gonna do the work if you're not doing that you might be in isolation longer than you want to okay so i pray <laughs> that this edified every ear that it has fell upon okay definitely edified me when god brought it to my attention um and i was like i don't look good lord to get on camera but he know me like this time in my walk who cares as long as you're hearing me you understand as long as you hear me um so i love you guys so much 
Oh, look at them. They on their little boat. I wish I had a boat to just cruise. <laughs> but anyway, um, I love you guys so much. I pray that I know it edifies every ear that it will fall on. Um, God is good. Just trust him in every season of your life, every phase of your life. Trust, trust God and you will see his hand. You will see his hand. I love you. Bless up. You're done with the thing already. Make sure you are tuning in to Moving Mondays. The live streams. We live stream every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hulu Baby Expresses Podcast Season 2, Episode 7. We'll be releasing this Saturday at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time. We do the video as well as the audio on all streaming podcast platforms, okay? Well, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye! To the world is I buy to send anything over so that I can't give up.